Alright man, I've decided it is time to rip some more engine shards in the dying minutes of the 2x engine shard event for one simple reason. As it stands currently with 20 minutes left to go on the Champion Chairs tournament, we are currently sitting in first place, but only by about 200 tournament points. I want to secure this first place, man. I want to make certain that no one is going to snipe right at the very end uh, to grab the mythical skill tome and of course the mythical six pieces of relentless artifacts. Uh, yeah, that would be awesome to get. I also just want to bump up to 10,000 tournament points so that we get our hands on the gigantic soul stone all the way up at the top of the rewards track because we don't have that much further to go. And frankly, most of all, it gets harder and harder to win tournaments the higher account level and account power you get in raid. You match up against more and more difficult opponents. And so I'd like to win some tournaments now while I still can. You know what I'm saying? Now, first things first, we can actually go ahead and fuse another uh, component for the fusion. So we might as well just go ahead and get that done because that's just more free points that we might as well cash in on now while there's 20 minutes left on the event. So, yeah, let's pull the trigger on this. Bam. There it is. Just another happy little honey badger. 250 more tournament points right there. That puts us at about 1,300 points to go to actually go ahead and secure the soul stone. So we'll go ahead and just do that next so that that is done. And then we wait and just make sure that no one's going to try and steal our lead, which I don't think they will be. Okay, but still, I thought I might as well. Um, yeah be here to secure it. But before we get to that, go ahead and make sure that you have used code GAMELEAP to get your hands on 10 free experience brews, a free energy refill, and 100,000 silver, man. It might just be the boost that you need, who knows, man, to get you over the line with this current flurry or fusion offense. And if you've already used code GAMELEAP, then go ahead and share it with your clan mates, man. Spread the love and help your brothers out. Okay, man, let's just, I guess, start ripping shards. As always, I'm nervous as hell when doing this, but you know what? Nothing to be nervous about, man. Let's just go ahead and start pulling. We've already done the bulk of the shard pulling already. And we actually ended our shard pulling event. Uh, like last blob of shards that we pulled with just terrible, terrible luck. Not great luck here either. In particular, 350 tournament points in there. I'm just kind of keeping track of that. We've got a thousand more still to go. Um, yeah, let's just keep on pulling. I do have, have some backup fusions that I can do as well. Um, if we do need to just make up a little bit of slack in tournament points required. Kind of bad luck here, dude. What the hell is this goddamn Yaga doing back in my inventory, man? Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna make a little bit more uh, champion space real quick. Okay, about 700 points more required to get our hands on the happy little soul stone. Let's keep on going. We've cleared up our inventory space. Let's do this, man. It would be lovely to go to hands on just a bonus legendary for one of the last pulls. Masked Fearmonger. I can't get away from that guy. Oh my god. Grow hack the bloodied. Who's that? Is he decent? This guy. Dude, I can't click on this guy, man. I'm sick of seeing this, dude. I've pulled this guy like four times, man. It's, man, it's getting old. Okay, grow hack the bloodied. What are you all of? Looks absolutely badass as hell. Are you kidding me? He's actually orc. Okay, man. Let's see this dude. Um, what affinity is he? He's actually magic affinity. Okay. A1. Attack two times at random. Chance of placing decreased speed. Debuff for a couple of turns. Okay. Actually pretty damn solid uh, A1, to be honest. The A2 is an attack all enemies. Attacks all enemies. Each critical hit fills the champion's turn meter by 20%. Okay. That's why it's only on a 3 turn cooldown to begin with. It can't be bucked down any more than that. But that's a solid amount of turn meter fill, dude. You can just get almost a full turn reset if you're hitting five targets. It's pretty good. What about the A3? Attacks one enemy and steals the target's 10 meter, plays a weakened debuff for two turns if this attack is critical. Okay, so he strikes me as a little bit of a one-dimensional legendary. He's got one job. It's to hit things really hard and angrily. And frankly, I may or may not have already, rightly or wrongly, probably wrongly, maxed out a champion that kind of does the same thing as well, just hits things really hard and um, that's it, that's his job, he doesn't really have much utility going for him. So uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that legendary pull to be honest, seems like a full champ, uh, fun champ, but I probably won't be maxing him out anytime soon given that King Garrog is kind of doing his job already. Okay man, but hell, you know, a legendary is a legendary, pretty stoked about that man. Okay, let's head on into the tournament pick up our happy little soul stone and just make sure that nobody else is going to try and sneak up on us here, man. No snipers right at the end, which I sincerely doubt. Yeah, nobody else has even moved 
uh, for this reward. But again, I just want to secure these while I still can, because as I understand it, again, the higher account level you get and stuff, the harder and harder it gets to secure tournament wins because you're up against more and more experienced players, more people who've more, much, much more willing to pour extra resources into tournaments. It gets harder and harder. This is actually going to be my first ever mythical skill tome, I think. Which is pretty tight. And I guess that my fusing of Lockwain can once again just wait a little bit longer. No, re I've actually already got myself a Lockwain, to be honest, but I can fuse another one. I have all of the components ready to go. That would have been an extra uh, whole bunch of points right there as well. I've also still got Slix's Fragments that I'm just sitting on, and I see no reason to exchange them in for tokens just yet until I get much, much closer uh, to Mother Maud. Until then, I just want to kind of hold on to them just in case I need them. Um, like, break glass in emergency kind of situation, you know, if I really desperately need some uh, champion chase points or something. That's what I'm keeping these for for now. Probably will end up exchanging them eventually. Back on the tournament screen, I'm just going to spam refresh this for the next 12 minutes and just make sure that we're going to get first place. In the meanwhile, I, I, I mean, I've got to check out Grohack's reviews, man. I gotta check him out. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I have a knack for pulling very, very questionable legendaries recently, dude. What is this, man? Goddamn Grohack, goddamn Karato uh, in the pulling event just the other day. And no, I do not have... Who does he combo with? I do not have uh, Yumiko, of course. King Garog was a pull before that as well. Which, where is he? Oh, screw it, you guys have seen him already. Questionable legendary pulls lately, man. It's gotta be said. All right. First place secured, positions being finalized. I'm gonna go get some sleep, man, because I need it badly. And then let's together check out our sweet, juicy rewards. Seeing how these stat rolls go on this mythical gear, man. Oi, 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 oi. Hopefully at least one of them is just really, really top tier. That will be awesome. Well, never mind. Hold that thought. The rewards might already be in. Positions being finalized, dot, dot, dot. Okay, man, tight. There it is. We can pick it up already, man. Okay. Please just let one of these gear pieces be solid, man. That's all I want, dude. Just, just one. I have so much relentless gear piled up, actually. It's just kind of embarrassing. Uh, so let me just check this out real quick. Yeah, I tell you what, man. That's actually just filled by just new. And then going to relentless and... Oh my god, dude, there they are. Okay, first of all, man. First of all, did the boots get a speed roll? That's the only thing that matters, right? That's like the most important thing. It's very, very unlikely that they did. <gasps> oh! That's really good. That's really good. Goddamn red. Oh, oh my god. You guys could just assist here past my fat head. But we actually got a red accuracy roll, dude. The mythical accuracy roll. Oh my god. Six star speed. Oh my dude, I'm so I'm so happy with that. That is so good. That's so excellent. Let me just move my enormous cranium out of the way. While we check out the rest of these. Okay, my next up chest, I mean, as long as this percentage, we're fine, I guess. It's flat defense. And it rolled into a red flat stat. Not ideal. Now, question for you guys, man. Would you have the option to go into um, uh, reworking? Oh, I only have three mythical chaos ores. No, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. It's like the golden rule, right? You don't spend your chaos ores, uh, particularly the legendary and the mythical ones, on... Um, you guys now can't see the chaos ores, but you don't, you don't want to spend these on anything that can roll into flat stats, right? Because it's just going to be a waste. I mean, you might get mega, mega lucky, I guess, but... For like a rule of thumb, it's usually just a bad idea. Ah, so it sucks about the chest. You know, whatever happens, I'm happy with the boots. Like, very, very, very happy with the boots. Um, so, yeah. Nice. Percentage HP on the gauntlets. We roll into flat attack on the, um, on the red stat, but that's not the worst thing in the world. At least we get accuracy defense percentage. Would be nice to have some speed on these, but hey, man, I'll take it. The shield actually rolls red stat speed. Oh my god. That is really, really good. Okay, dude, that's two massive, massive wins already, man. That's two massive... I don't even care what the hell's going on with the weapon and the headgear at this point. That's two enormous wins already. Oh, my God. Hey, man, any, like, super veteran player that's watching this clip right now, watching this video right now, is, like, looking at me like, oh, what a noob, you know? Look at this guy getting all excited about his mythical gear, man. Well, you know what? This is really new for me, damn it. I've got, like, a small, small handful of uh, mythical pieces, man. So, hey, headgear, red stat, HP, not bad, no speed stat, could be better, man, but you know what, again, for like a six-month-old account, really, really good headgear, man, I think, I think I'm fine with this, I think I'm fine with this, man, again, shame about the speed, but, and the weapon, ooh, attack percentage, crit rate, and red crit damage, wow, man, wow, again, it's lacking, it's lacking speed, 
But at the same time, for a nuke that we can slam in a relentless set, that seems really, really quite excellent. In fact, that's like the best possible... Like, if, if the resistance here was speed instead, would it just be like the best possible stat rolls for a nuke or relentless weapon? Probably. I think that that's a pretty damn significant win as well. Oh my god. Okay, but the shield in particular, the boots in particular, very, very, very good. Super excited about these. Oh my god. Hey, I'm going to be doing like a huge artifact cleanse and uh, artifact upgrading video pretty soon in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. I think I start off that video by just throwing some uh, some levels into these guys and see how these roll, man. Oh my god, that's going to be awesome. Alright guys, going to leave it here. Tell you what, man, that feels so, so good. That feels so, so worth having stayed up for and just made sure that we secured that win and got that tournament win. Um, Yeah, can't possibly regret it at that point, and it makes up for the little bit crappy look from our legendary pulls recently in the in the ancient chat pulls that we did they just went all that grand um yeah this more than makes up for that oh yo yo anyways thought i'd just go ahead and share that little tidbit man i think that honestly so long as you're below like account level 90 christ anything below 100 try and take your wins in tournaments if and when you can you know pick your battles and all of that good stuff and you might as well secure some wins before things get really really try hard uh, a little bit later on in the game, you know. Anyways, man, if you're looking to start off a new raid account, make sure to do so by clicking on my promo link down below at the top of the video description box to jumpstart that account with a to go once your account hits level 15, and then a Rector Drath as soon as your account hits level 25. It's a double whammy, one of the best promo links going. Um, yeah. So sign up to raid using that link. Maybe create a new alt account, a new free-to-play adventure, something like that. Uh, it really, really helps to support the channel as well. So huge thanks to anyone who does decide to do that. Hey. Thanks again, everyone, and I'm going to catch all of y'all just a tad bit later, man.